Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing it really well. My name is Carissa if you're new. Hi, welcome. So today's video I'm excited for. It is a monthly favorites video. I completely skipped the month of May because when I was starting to write down my favorites, I only had a couple of things new to like mention because I was still completely obsessed with everything that I shared in my April favorites video. But this month, completely different towards the end of May and all throughout June, I've found new things that I'm absolutely obsessed with or things that I've owned that I've just kind of like rediscovered as well. So I wanted to film this video and just share all of the things I've been loving for the past month. I have about two handfuls of things to share with you guys today. It's a mix of clothes, shoes, and just other random things too. So I think that this will be really good. I think personally. Of course, everything I mentioned will be linked down below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and just get into this. The first things I wanted to mention are these oversized t-shirts. I've mentioned this in a few of my last videos that I've posted, but you guys, these are the best. You get them off of Amazon. They're like eight or nine dollars. You know, Amazon's prices, they kind of fluctuate a little bit, but I have these in so many colors. I have it in a like dark gray, a black, and a white as well, but those are dirty, so I didn't want to share. Those of you, these ones are clean and in my drawer, so I pulled these out for you. It is from the brand Comfort Colors. It is like a garment dyed t-shirt. It's heavyweight, but it's still like so soft and so comfortable. They are the best tees, I kid you not. I pair them like with jean shorts, with bike shorts. I sleep in them. They're like really just versatile. So I have them in so many colors. So the first color I have it in is in this like sage like green nudie type of color. Just looks so expensive in my opinion. Something that like the Kardashians, like if on like skims or something, like this is like their color. You know what I mean? But anyway, I love this color so much. I have it in this one. I also have it in like this darker green color. I have it in a lighter gray. And like I've mentioned, I have it in a white, black, and like a, a dark gray color that's called pepper. As far as sizing goes, I have a couple of them in medium. This one's in medium. And of course, like I'll try this on for you so you can see like the size difference, but mostly the other ones I have are in a size small. So I honestly like both the small and the medium. It just depends on like the vibe I'm going for. It's a bit easier to tuck into like tight jean shorts if it's a size small and it still has like an oversized look to it. And then I like wearing the medium with bike shorts too. So I don't know, there's like a kind of a purpose in my mind for both sizes. I'm a bit weird like that, but I do like to have them in two different sizes. Another favorite of mine are these just like super basic tank tops. These were mentioned in my Aritzia haul video. The black one, it's a little, little dirty. <laughs> Sorry about that. They're just like great basic tank tops to have. They're so soft, so like heavyweight and not see-through in the slightest. What I like about them is that these are like two of the tanks that are in my closet that are not cropped. They are more, they're not full length, but they're just like a little bit longer. So you could still tuck them into like high-waisted items or not and it can still show like a little bit of like your midsection as well but these are a little bit of a higher neckline which i love and i just love i don't know just like the armpits and the full style of them they are great basics to have this is in the wilfred free brand and i get them in the size x structure small okay next up a few bottom pieces to share so now that we are getting into the warmer months in seattle it's been time to bust out my shorts which i'm so excited for the Lululemon shorts are by far my favorite bike shorts. They're just the best. It's the line fabric, but in shorts, I mean, does it get any better than that? So I have them in so many different colors. I have it in the graphite gray, and I also have it in the camo. I have it in black, and I have it in a lot of other colors too. These are just the two colors I grabbed to show you. Honestly, no matter what color you can snag them in, they are excellent. These are in the six inch. These specifically I love for bike shorts, but I do own the four inch as well, and I really liked wearing those to work out at home and stuff in. But for bike shorts specifically, I love the six inch. It's like the perfect length on petite women. I kid you not, like anything longer, like even if it's seven inches, I just feel like that's an inch way too long on me and it just does not look that great with my short legs. So staying between like that five and six inches in length is just absolutely perfect. 
for petite women and again i'm 5'1 so yeah these are the perfect bike short and i've been wearing them all month long in any form and they are so good okay this next piece is a more of a recent favorite for the month of june but no doubt my favorite i think i've been wearing them like five days a week kind of embarrassing to say that because that means i haven't been washing them but anyways it is these shorts that i shared from lululemon i'm actually wearing them right now in like the lighter gray color but i have them in the dark gray color too these are just like i know i raved about them in my lululemon haul video but they are just like so soft so comfy yet like heavier weight but still breathable and like they're stretchy they're high-waisted they're just like my go-to comfy like sweat shorts right now like when i don't want to wear bike shorts and i just love pairing everything with them they have like a trouser inspired look to them they have like some seams going down the front of them and then there's like a little bit of a thicker hem to like the bottom of them too but such a classic piece i'm so happy i got these and yeah i've been wearing them very non-stop <laughs> The last of the bottoms of things I've been obsessed with are these Gymshark leggings. These are the Adapt Seamless, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> these are so freaking comfy, so soft, so stretchy. If you watch my Gymshark haul video I did, my opinion on these are pretty much the same. I don't own any seamless leggings and these are like one of my favorite pairs. They're just like the perfect length on me. I love how seamless they are. I absolutely love the color. I love that I can just wear these around the house, obviously to work out in or to run errands in them too. The high waistband, just everything about them. I just love them so much. I absolutely had to share my yoga mat. As you guys know, I recently purchased this in May. I think it was the end of May, right? I got this yoga mat and I was so skeptical of getting it because I've seen just like such mixed reviews on Lululemon's yoga mats. But I'm so happy I pulled the trigger on that and that I bought this. This has just like been my saving grace when it comes to working out. I got the five millimeter like in thickness yoga mat it is like a little bit heavier but it has just completely saved me with working out because of the thickness of this mat and it's just like saved my hips my wrists my knees my elbows like everything when it comes to working out and just like having all of those things like hit the ground you know what i mean it just makes it easier to get through my workouts and this yoga mat doesn't slide it doesn't move around oh it's just it's become such a staple and I love it. Okay, so for my next favorites, I'm gonna share some shoes. I have four pairs of shoes to share with you guys. I'm laughing because they're all pretty dirty, so no judgment here. But yeah, I've had four pairs of shoes that I've worn this entire month. These are the only four pairs of shoes that I've worn, each for a specific reason, but I love each and every one of them. So the first pair that I wanted to mention are these right here. They are the Converse Jack Purcells. This is in the leathered kind. It's not in the canvas. These have just been my go-to when I want to wear like shorts or jeans and throw on these sneakers. They are by far my favorite like white sneaker and at a very affordable price, which I love. I will say with these, hopefully they have the size. Oh, it's way down here. Give me a second. Okay, so I found it. <laughs> so I will say in these, you need to size down. So I'm typically a women's five, but I size down to a four and a half, and these fit just like a five. So I'll just keep that in mind to, it does run like a half size big. But yeah, this has just been one of like my go-tos, and I like like the leather on it too, because it's just so easy to clean and wipe off when I wanna wear them when it's raining or any sort of weather element, I guess. But yeah, these are definitely so good. These New Balance shoes are another one. They are the 997S. What initially drew me to these when I bought them is, of course, like I love the black on them, but I also love like the white and the beige mixed in. I thought that they were so unique. And these have been like my go-to shoes when I wanna go, you know, do like a quick walk, like around the block, walking around like the city. They're just like very comfortable shoes. I've been wearing them like with leggings and my joggers and so forth. But these are absolutely perfect. I got this in a size five and they run true to size. 
My Converse high tops have been an absolute vibe for me. I cannot live without them. I cannot keep them off of my feet. I love them so much. These Converse high tops I actually got custom made on Converse's website. They are kids Converse because for me, like Converse, just like with the Jack Purcells, just Converse run extremely large on me. So I couldn't even get like the smallest size in a women's, which is a women's five. That was just still way too big. I'm so happy that the Jack Purcell ones offered like a size like a women's 4.5. I thought that was really awesome. But for these, I ended up going to kid sizes to get a smaller size. And this is actually in a size 2.5. Really weird to say. But also just to say with that is when you go down to a kid's, they are so much cheaper. They're like between 15 to $20 cheaper. So just like a quick like hack too, if you're interested in Converse shoes. As these are custom made, they were like a little bit more expensive, but they're pretty much the same price as if I was to get women's normal uncustomized shoes, you know? But I wanted an all white pair with just like the black stripe on it. I didn't want like the red and the blue on them. So yeah, I got these a little while ago. I got them earlier this year. And I just like, now that the weather's kind of nicer and I didn't want to get them super dirty, I just busted these out and I just cannot keep them off of my feet yet again. I love wearing these with bike shorts and an oversized tee. I like wearing leggings with these and like an oversized sweatshirt. Oh, so many outfits. I just, so many reasons to wear these. The last pair of shoes are these Birkenstocks. I have another pair of Birkenstocks that are more like a suede material and there are, um, like what is it? It's like a like a beige or a nude color. And I was eyeing these for so long and so I think I got these in May at Urban Outfitters for my Urban Outfitters haul. I showed these, but I got them in the black leather such a staple oh my gosh i love these so much these look good with every single outfit too but so far this season with the nice weather these have just been like my go-to sandal to wear so freaking comfy to walk long distances in and i just like like slide type of sandals and these are definitely like bulkier but i'm into that so and for these i got them in a size 36 Okay, I have two more things to share. Two last items, completely random, but I thought that they would be fun and that you would enjoy them. So the first is this little photo printer. It's a mini photo printer. It's by Canon, it's the Ivy. It's so freaking cute and so small. Like, I cannot believe it. But it prints like these tiny little pictures. I printed this one and I printed tons more, but I got this for my mom's birthday. I wanted to make like a photo album in real time so that everyone that was at the party can we can print a picture put it into the photo album and you know write in scrapbook and stuff like that it'd be like a really fun memory for her so that was the purpose of why i got this but ever since then i've still been printing my own like little photos to keep put them on the refrigerator create my own album keep them on like my coffee table too but it's just like the best little printer and honestly the quality is not half bad i like it so much i was between this and like a standard polaroid I like that I can still edit the photo and then print it. And with a Polaroid, you take the picture and you get what you get. You know what I mean? You might have to take it like several more times. So I like that I could pick the exact picture I wanted, edit it, and then print it too. When I got it, it came with an additional pack of like 50 little sheets. Definitely have like a couple left in here as well, but such a fun little thing for the summertime and all those summertime memories that we're about to have. The last thing that I wanted to share was actually my spice drawer. Obviously can't bring my spice drawer over here, but I'll bring the camera over there and I'll show you it um, with a, like a clip right now. But I am so obsessed with this drawer, you guys. It's such like a weird thing to be completely obsessed with, but I organized it at the end of May. So I organized all my spices, organized my tea bags, and I got like a little tea bag organizer in there. And I just like open this drawer randomly when I'm in the kitchen just to like admire it. <laughs> Such a funny thing. I love organization. I love being organized. Having that organized, it was like a major disaster before too. But having it organized, it just like makes me feel like my kitchen is more organized. It makes me feel like I'm more organized in my life. It's just like such a funny addition to mention, but I love like the little spice rack I got and then like the tea bag organizers and everything else in that drawer. And it's just so aesthetically pleasing and I can see all the spices. I know exactly what I'm cooking with. And I have like all like my little medicines in there too. Love the drawer so much more now. 
All right, that wraps up my June favorites. That was all the items I was loving throughout this whole month. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. As always, everything I mentioned will be linked down below in the description box if you wanted it to check out the items yourself. Thank you guys so much again, and I'll catch you in a couple days in my next video. Bye guys, love you.